Hey y'all, welcome back to Jack's Drinkwater Southern Cooking and Barbecue. I'm Jax. Myself and Royal Gourmet Grills are gonna show you how we make a Jack Daniels Tennessee Honey London Broil. I'm starting to get the meat sweats and I haven't even eaten any meat, it's so hot out here. To save me a little bit of time today, I'm gonna be using this Chef's Elite 15 minute marinade system. If you don't have one of these, I'll leave a link below where you can go get you one. But it's not necessary. You can also use just a regular Ziploc bag. The only issue with that is you're gonna need to do a minimum of four hours, but even better, 24 hours. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take the lid off here Starting out with 50 ml of a Jack Daniels Honey Whiskey. These are just the travel size ones. Not really into the whole sipping of sweet whiskeys. Three quarters cup of olive oil or canola oil. A quarter cup of apple cider vinegar. Half teaspoon of salt a half teaspoon of black pepper, that would be coarse ground, and one tablespoon of garlic powder, a half a cup of freshly chopped green onion. Put a lid on it. If you didn't have this, you wanna make sure you mix it about, such as whisking, but in this case, we're just gonna do a little shaky shake. So if you don't see London broil in your supermarket, there's a good reason for that, and that's because London broil is a cooking method rather than a cut of meat. That's not to say you won't see it labeled in your supermarket as London broil, but just remember, London broil is a cooking method, not a cut of beef. And London broil is usually done with a flank steak or some other lean type of beef. So grab you about two to two and a half pounds of flank steak. Totally not necessary, but I'm gonna use this. It's not a hair pick, it's a meat tenderizer. Grab our flank steaks, drop those in here, put the lid on it. Lock it up. Take our little vacuum hose. Hit your function. Now on this, it takes about two to three minutes to get all the air out. You'll see your wheels here will start spinning. While your meat's spinning, it's a good time to preheat your grill. It's been 15 minutes, let's give them a good sear. Also gonna be using the sear burner that the Royal Gourmet has. So my temp I'm shooting for is around medium rare to medium. I mean, specifically, I really love my steaks at about 138, which is more on the high side or the low end of medium. But I'm telling you, you don't want to cook a flank steak well done. Ooh, look at that sear. So I think this one's done, let's give it a pull. Now let's let them rest. These badgers have been resting about five minutes, so let's give them a slice in two. All right, so my grain is running this direction, so we're gonna cut this direction. I'm liking that, liking that so far. Let's go right in this area. Not bad, not bad, not bad at all, all right? Let's give it a sample. Mm. Mm. Got a fantastic flavor. It is like you have marinated this overnight for sure. I really love the sear of that Royal Gourmet that it gave these flank steaks. If you guys are interested in the Royal Gourmet Grill, I'm gonna leave a link below. Remember, it's all stainless steel construction. 
The lid is double walled. It's got five burners plus a side burner. It retails for $339.99. Go check it out. All right, guys, Jack Daniels, Tennessee Honey, London Broil on your Royal Gourmet Grill. Do it. Mm.